a ball is kicked from the ground and lands at a point 10 meters away from the opposite side of the goal post. The crossbar of the goal post is 2 meters above the ground. When the ball passes over the cross crossbar, it is at, as, at its maximum height of 2.5 meters. <coughs> okay. Uh, give the equation of height h meters of the ball above the ground at a, at a distance x meters from where it is kicked if the path of the ball is modeled by parabola. So <clears throat> they have given you this is the path of the ball. It has a, got a parabolic path. The total distance, so let, let us write the facts that are given. Okay, the total distance the ball covered, so total distance, so I'll write distance covered by the, uh, the ball that was kicked is 10 meters. And the maximum height, maximum height of the ball is 2.5 meters. Okay, now yeah, <clears throat> in this type of question there are, you can do this in different ways, so you have to decide certain things. So we, I'm going to decide that uh, the x-axis, so, oops, I want you to draw a straight line, suppose that this is your y-axis and this is the x-axis. Okay, so let us label this as this is your y-axis, oh yeah, this is your y-axis, so that is your height. On an x-axis we are taking x, so on y-axis we are taking the height, on the x-axis we are taking the distance the ball covers. So this is distance the ball covers, which is an x, and h is for the height of the ball. So it's, let's say that this is 0, 0 is where the ball was kicked, okay, and the ball had a parabolic path. So let me draw a parabolic path. So this is the path of the ball. This is the path of the ball. And the maximum height it reaches is uh, 2.5 meters. So this is 2.5 meters. So the distance that it covers is 10 meters. So if this is 0, this would be 10. Okay, so, and this is the height. So if this is 0 and this is 10, you get the maximum or the vertex at halfway between the x-intercept. So this is phi and this is phi comma 2.5. Okay, so what are we deciding? We decided that let's take uh, the x-axis and y-axis at the point where the ball is kicked. So here this information is not uh, not at all relevant. Okay, so we don't, we haven't used this at all. So if we, we say well if it is a parabolic path and if it has covered a distance of 10 meters and you have the maximum height of 2.5 meters, we can say the maximum height was reached when the ball had traveled 5 meters. And that was the height. Okay. By just looking at this equation or this, uh, let me scroll up. By just looking at this parabola, we know the parabola, this is the basic parabola which has moved. This is an upside down parabola. So the equation of this parabola would be y or h as your y is a times it has moved phi to the right. So well I can say this should be x minus phi squared and it has gone 2.5 up. So this is 2.5. So what I'm saying is if you think about the basic parabola, say let me draw a sketch of the basic parabola. The basic parabola y is equal to, this is the basic parabola y is equal to x squared. So this basic parabola has <coughs> gone phi to the right, it has gone upside down, and it has gone phi up. And there's also a transformation or a scale factor transformation. So we need to figure out A. So this minus phi means it has gone to the right. This is going phi to the right and this is going 2.5 up. And this A would be minus because I know this is an upside down parabola. And this A will also tell me what's the scale factor. Okay, so now what do I know? I can say, well, H is 0. We can take any point other than the vertex. So we can say H is 0 when X is 0. 
h is 0 when x is 0. So let us put this back in this equation. This implies, uh, this implies in place of h I'm going to put 0. So 0 is equal to a times 0 minus phi the whole squared plus 2.5. This is where you should be very careful of not doing silly mistakes. So this is 0 is equal to a times 0 take away phi is minus phi squared plus 2.5. Okay, so what happens now? So this is 0 equal to minus phi squared is 25. So this is 25a plus 2.5. Okay, I'm now taking away 2.5 from both sides, if you take away 2.5 from this side, you can take away 2.5 from this side. So we will have minus 2.5, minus 2.5 is equal to 25a. Okay, so now dividing both sides by 25. So I'm dividing this side by 25, so this side also by 25. So 25 and 25 gets cancelled. Well, I can say uh, this is uh, a is minus 2.5 over 25. It's the same as minus, twi minus 25 over 250. We can use the calculator. So this is minus 1 tenth. Minus 1 tenth. So A is minus 0 0.1. Okay, so I confirm the answer on a calculator. So we can say the equation is, so let me write the equation here, H h, let me write the equation, h is equal to negative 0 0.1 times x minus phi the whole squared plus 2.5. So we need to confirm this point, this point, and this point on a graphic calculator. And if these points are obtained, we can say my, our equation is right. So let's get the calculator out. So where is my calculator? Okay. Oops, I don't want this. Okay, I can't find my calculator. Uh, okay, let me cancel this. Hopefully I'll find my calculator. Yes, here it is. Yeah, okay, so let us get the calculator. We wrote the equation was, okay, so this is my calculator. Let me scroll this slightly to this side, go to graph and type in the equation negative 0 0.1 bracket x minus phi squared plus 2.5. Okay, I need the scale. I, I want to go from 0 to 10. So I'll press shift F3. I'll go from 0 to 10. Scale of 1 would do. <clears throat> And y axis, I'll go from 0 to say phi. Okay, phi and a scale of 1 would do, and then draw it. So, this is your parabola. So, your maximum should be at phi 2.5. So, you go G sol maximum phi 2.5, and you, th these are the x intercepts, so G sol, and uh, when y is equal to, so you can say uh, y calc when x is equal to when x is equal to 0. Okay, when x is 0, y is 0. When x is 10, so you can say y calc when x is 10, y is 0. So these, these are the points that we have confirmed.